nuclear girl game and how to protect yourself from it. So many of you guys know that one of the, the terms that I coined and that I've talked about substantially is girl game. Girl game is a very popular topic because in dating space, guys are usually focused on what they can do, what they are able to do to attract women, what how they can develop game. But what guys don't usually see or don't usually focus on is that is what kind of game that girls run on them. So I think it's important for guys to know themselves because if you don't know yourself, you, you can't protect yourself. It's kind of like you're focused on offense, but you don't do anything to, you know, keep, keep your own towns and cities protected. So, you know, you can get ambushed really quickly. And this is especially important because girl game uses a man's ego against him. So all game is about validating the other person. But it's about validating the other person to with an agenda behind it. And usually that agenda is to get them to validate you. So it's, it's kind of giving to get. So that's, this is one of the reasons, by the way, why what can work to get a girl doesn't work to keep a girl. Because if you're running game that validates a girl and in, in return she starts to validate you, you're giving to get. And at a certain point, that whole thing is going gonna, is gonna to collapse. Because she's going to start to see the real you. She's going to be less, you know, you're going to see the real her. You're going to, you know, do less to try to get a response from her. Everything just kind of collapses. It, it becomes um, too agenda driven and you're acting upon each other rather than simply behaving like somebody who, who loves the other person. Who cares about the other person? The other party feels that. That's one of the reasons that the relationships, it, it's such a different game when you're trying to have a healthy relationship than when you're in this, you know, three to six month short term dating period. At any rate, though, girl game, how it works on men is it validates their ego. And the way that this will validate a guy's ego is usually the woman will act extra feminine. She's going to act extra feminine and she's going to act extra feminine because you're so masculine. You're so masculine. Now, usually with girls, they have a, their own sort of game that they are uh, inclined towards. So just kind of like how guys might be more on the desire side of things or on the comfort side of things. Like every, every both sex has a strategy to get the other sex. And when it comes to men, there's the strategy of, of being really, um, you know, giving, being like the nice guy, buying her gifts, being there emotionally for her, you know, doing favors for her, all the nice stuff. And then you have the kind of like asshole guy who's really, you know, he's good in bed, who stands up to her, who, who sort of really emphasizes this sort of alpha masculine demeanor. And obviously one of these guys does better with the woman than the other, but the woman will not only stay with the guy who fucks her right. And is kind of like an asshole, like eventually it might take some time, but she'll jump off of that and will make her feel good about herself. And usually what, the, what the girl is going to do is she's going to stay between those two guys. So in a similar vein, when women are trying to get a guy, they will either be the Madonna or the whore. So they're either going to be the woman who's super validating. She's totally there for him. She cooks all these little favors, but she's probably not going to be as much sexually. She's not, not to say that she's not going to be sexually open, but it's not where she's going to be. Her strong suit's going to be. And then you have the girl who's just like absolutely wild in bed, but the key thing here is that she's making you feel like you're a sex God. So your ego is just going through the roof. And so you're not only enjoying the sex with her, um, you're starting to become dependent on her for you, know, you, you associate sex as not only just good sex, but also as a massive ego boost. And so you want more and more time with her and that separates her from other girls. And usually girls will do one of these two things, you know, assuming both women are equally attractive as a guy, you know, 
the gu a guy will usually want to date each of these girls. So he might, he's, he's going to be torn between them. And so if he's not committed, he's probably going to date one of each because he's getting his comfort needs from one girl and he's getting his desire needs from another. But what you have to watch out for as a guy is when a girl does both of these things. Okay. So when a girl is, you know, cooking for you, doing things for you, giving, you know, giving you gifts, giving you kindness, you know, kind words of affirmation when she is, um, you know, wants to sleep with you all the time, tells you you're the best thing in the world. When she literally hits you with all five love languages. And if you guys know the love languages, it's words of affirmation, gifts, acts of service, physical touch. And, um, what I miss. Well, all five of them, all five of them. Um, what I miss? What I miss? Anyway, she hits you with all five of these love languages at once. You will be very, very hard pressed to resist. Quality time. Thank you, Killer Mike. Quality time. That's the fifth love language. You will be hard pressed to resist. And I'll also add, she'll also give you the sixth love language, which is space. Um, some people really do, do want their space. So if she gives you all five of the primary love languages and then doesn't act needy, then you're going to be like, who the fuck is this girl? You know, what girl can possibly compare? And I will warn you that there's a very, very high likelihood that this girl is gaming you hardcore because she is sinking her talons in. She's going to make you feel like you are, you are never going to be happier with anybody besides for her. And if that's the case, um, what, what, if you do decide to commit to her, there is a extremely high chance that within three to six months, there is going to be a massive pullback on her end. Because once she gets you, once you're like, okay, I do love this girl. I want to commit to this girl. She is the best. She's going to start to pull all that stuff that she was doing for you. And uh, you lost the game. She gamed you. It's a nuclear level girl game. So watch out for that, guys. Watch out for love bombing. You've got to watch out for love bombing. It's extremely dangerous. And you have to understand that when a woman is, is pumping up your ego... You have to know yourself well enough and you have to, you know, love and appreciate yourself well enough that you, that that kind of flattery does not affect you in a, in a massive way that you're able to see clearly in spite of it because it's designed to mess up your thinking. People who have self-esteem issues, guys who have self-esteem issues will fall for this kind of flattery because they can't generate internal validation so they can't see themselves clearly. The reality, of course, is that they have a negative self-image and she is giving them the love that they can't give themselves. So you need to deal with this stuff internally. If you deal with it internally, then you'll be able to see, well, wait a minute. Why is she saying these things about me? Why is she giving me all this stuff? It's not to say that you, you say to yourself that you don't deserve it, but you can start to see the artifice in it. You can start to see that there's an agenda behind it. And then you become immune to manipulation from women. So anyway, guys, that is Nuclear Girl Game. If you like this video, like the video, comment below. I respond to all comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to know more about Girl Game, you want to know the details of it, if you want to understand female psychology, get my course below. I'll see you guys next time.